Good morning, welcome to my channel. My name is Exquisite. Today's topic is on why do women continue to have babies after babies after babies while being on government assistance and always claiming that they broke, they can't do this, they can't do that, blah, blah this, blah, blah that. Save it. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. I guess because I've been working since I was 15 years old. Not by choice. Not that I had to, I was very, very spoiled, sheltered, and some more. I had a son young, and that was the first thing I told myself. I used to always tell myself, I'm not getting on no county or if I have to on any type of government system, I'm not knocking it at all. But they always come for me whenever I'm trying to get it. But they let the rest of these people sit on it for years and years and years. I'm wondering, what are you guys putting on your applications at this point? Because it's a lot of us out here that's struggling, especially during a pandemic. And while these women continue to have babies after babies after babies and continue to say, I'm struggling, this, that, that, this. Then, we already know, there goes child support. So, a lot of these women's that, women that's getting on the county is not even given the fathers enough time to say, okay, here, I wanna be in my kid's life. You know, I'll give you this, I'll do this for you. No, hey, here it go, just the county. They go straight down there to the county. Like, the county is all up in your business and all the rest of that stuff. You gotta do too much to even keep that going. I wouldn't even want that type of energy in my life. Now, them food stamps, hey, bring them my way any day especially because i love to eat and trying to survive but it's another thing i've seen so many women out here getting all these food stamps over the pandemic while others are out here really 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 struggling i just wish that someone would really go sit back audit do a real audit and do something about this. It's really sickening. It's very sad. And it's sad to see that so many fathers and mothers that's, that fathers, and, and some fathers do this too, but I've not seen so many that do that. But I've seen more mothers do this. It's like you don't even give a man a chance to be in their kid's life. It's like, okay, as long as you get in this county, that's all that matters. You got to go through courts and some more stuff to even see the kids. And someone really needs to get down to the bottom of this. This is sad. It's really, really sad. And it's hurting our young kids. They're growing up being bitter, like the bitter moms, or going out there doing all kinds of different things because, hey, all they see is the life of a county trifling mom or vice versa and nothing else to show for all you, every time. What, my, what can you buy with that county money other than paying rent? I'm just not getting it. Can somebody please help me out? Please, please, please help me out with this one because I'm struggling with it. Stop depending on the county. Go out there, hustle, get a job, do something. I am tired of paying taxes for people that want to just sit at home and do nothing with their life. Like, I am really tired of it. It's, it's sickening at this point. And the county let the lowest of the low get by. Not saying that I ain't never tried to get on it and do all the rest, but trust and believe me, baby, when I tell you I had the hardest times ever, I've had the hardest times ever just trying to get on the county. And that's what's crazy. So with all that being said, it's like, go out there and do something with your life. Don't just depend on a county and us hardworking people to always got to put in on your stuff 